Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd just like to quickly um, update uh, all our customers and, uh, and new purchases of the uh, update that we've done to our lithium power top. Um, recently we've changed from a 50 amp hour to a 75 amp hour battery now. Uh, that's one of the changes. Now on the model like I have here with the DC to DC built in, we have also put in our new upgraded um, DC to DC board, which allows for a bit more flexibility, especially with modern vehicles with um, smart alternators. So with the older system, with the smart alternator, um, you had to rely on the, the vehicle's voltage system and charging circuit to be able to be work within the parameters of the voltage sensing relays that were in the power top. Not all vehicles um, were successful in doing so. So what we've done is upgraded the DC power board now to have an ignition trigger feed. So that will then, once it's hooked up that way, it'll cover every vehicle because um, effectively once the ignition's on, the DC charger will be on. When you turn the ignition off, it, it disengages so it doesn't keep pulling power from your battery. So first of all, you'd notice that you, when you get, the, you get the two sets of leads, the one with the SIGA socket for the 10 amp charge and the one with the Anderson for the 20 amp charge. So we'll talk about this one first. So effectively, you'll plug this unit in as per the, um, the unit requires which is your, let's get in here, your, um, your three units there. And then you have this Anderson, which would then go to uh, a lead that would be connected to the starter battery of the vehicle. So you would run that through um, some, say six mil or uh, six gauge, eight gauge cable, uh, eight BNS, and uh, run that down and plug that into there. Now that means then that would just draw power from your battery and uh, until basically your, your starter battery goes flat. So to alleviate that, we've now included this little lead here, which will plug into this little red port down here. Now this lead here, when you run the cable down from the front of your car under your bonnet, you'll need to just run a, a, lay, a lead that connects to somewhere under the bonnet, generally within the um, uh, fuse blocks under the uh, in the front in the engine bay there'll be a circuit in there which is controlled uh, via the ignition key so it will be an ignition circuit fuel pump circuit but generally it will be an ignition lead and it's actually wired ignition uh, or if you're not comfortable in doing it you know all auto leckies will be able to do that for you so therefore then what would actually happen is this now won't actually turn on until this receives power through this plug to turn the charger on and then it will draw power from your battery. Then obviously when you turn your ignition off, the power then doesn't, uh, is stopped from going into this plug, which in turn then turns the DC off, which then disengages this from your front battery so it's not gonna flatten it. So very important if you are using the 20 amp circuit to, um, to have this connected to uh, something that's controlled via the ignition. Now, that can you can do that with something in the back of the car that's got an accessories but accessories isn't an ignition accessories will certainly turn this on and off when you get in and out of the car but if you're camped up somewhere and you've got the radio playing and and whatever so you've got the the accessories on this would still be drawing power so in that case then you know you'd make sure you have to either unplug it but if you just have that to an ignition circuit that will alleviate all the all the problems and will charge the power top once you're driving and then when you stop driving it turns it off so that's that's that side done then we have the, uh, for all you people that use the SIGA socket, they may not, um, not everyone who buys this particular model says, oh look, I'm gonna worry about um, hooking this up to my car battery and, and go through all that sort of uh, extra work. We just wanna plug it into the SIGA socket and top it up whilst we're driving. That's fine, you can certainly do that as well. But you'll notice on this lead now, we have also included this little red trigger wire. So what happens is it's actually getting the power from the SIGI plug that you've plugged into. So ultimately you would plug this into your um, into your battery like so. And as I said, plug the little red wire in, make sure you plug the red wire. So when you plug this into your SIGI socket, uh, most SIGI sockets in your vehicles are obviously controlled via the ignition key anyway. Now, if they are not, and you're plugging it into a SIGI socket, say in the back of your car, a lot of modern cars and four drives have a SIGI plug in the back. A lot of those are actually wired to permanent power. If that is the case, when you stop the car for overnight or what you're doing, just make sure that you unplug it. Otherwise, same as the other scenario, because that will be getting power from there to turn the charger on. Um, it will just keep pulling power from it. So you could either unplug it from the SIGI socket or you could just simply unplug that. If you unplug that, it's, it will turn the unit off. So therefore then it won't keep pulling power from your starter battery. But that's quite simply it. So you just plug that into your SIGI socket um, and it will charge. Um, and then if you turn the ignition off and that SIGI plug turns off that controls that, 
everything's fine. If it doesn't, just make sure that you unplug that so that it doesn't keep pulling power from your battery. And that's simply it. So it's a fantastic upgrade. So now we've got all vehicles uh, on the market covered uh, from old to new um, with your smart alternators. And um, yeah, so enjoy it and um, won't be stuck out in the middle of the sticks with a flat battery. Um, this is the way to, to overcome that. So um, bye for me from now, but until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.